Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, we're going to upgrade the PS5 with the new SSD drive, and we're going to increase the total amount of storage because you need it, we need it as the console owners. I'm going to come to the reason of it, but what we are going to upgrade with is XPG brand Gamix S70. These are supporting PS5, as you can see the logos on it. These are Gen 4 SSD drives, and the length is 2,280. This is M2 style, so this is M NVMe E 1.4, so SLC uh, SSDs. The speeds that we are achieving at the back of the box and we test it with the PCs that we have at the office, so 7,400 megabyte per second and 6,800 megabyte per second read and write speeds. By the way, you can go whatever you like. This is two terabytes and this is one terabyte. We are going to upgrade with two terabyte in this video. But if it's your budget, you can go with the one terabyte. It will be more than enough. <laughs> Basically, the standard PS5 compared to. So the reason that we need to upgrade the PS5 is obvious. The storage is very little. Let's go to the storage. And here we see the console storage is 667 gigabytes. So it's not even a one terabyte exactly. The probably total storage is about 850 gigabytes. Uh, and it's not a lot. When you decrease the operation system of the PS5, maybe even some backups and updates and stuff like caches, and we got left with 667. So it is only enough for three to four games up top when it's a big game issue like Call of Duty and Battlefield or Red Dead Redemption, kind of like open world games. So if you include a couple of racing, like one or two racing games and one or two big games, you're not going to have any storage at all. One more thing, one more reason to upgrade with these or any kind of high-end SSDs, I'm going to come to that part uh, very quickly, is if you decrease the amount of storage less than 10%, as you can see around here, free space is one gigabyte, it will slow down your console. What basically happens is, it, it happens similar to the Xbox, similar to the uh, also any kind of console, a smartphone, tablet, any kind of device. If It could be also your Android TV. If you go less than 10%, your caching mechanism doesn't work. You don't have a spare cache space on your hard drive and you're going to slow down your system, whatever the system is. So don't go less than 10%, uh, but in this case, the storage is too low and this device has only 1.86 gigabytes right now and we're going to solve this problem. The reason that we are using the uh, XPG Gamix S, Gamix S70 Blade series, these have high speeds and PlayStation 5 looks for 5000 megabytes per second and above to use for PlayStation 5 games, new generation games. If you're going to play uh, PlayStation 4 games, you can install lower speed and cheaper as M2 SSDs. But if you're going to use it with the next gen console, this is the way to go. So consider this before uh, making the purchase of the SSD. You can check out the specs of these two at the bottom of this description. Like I will share the links so you can check the speeds. By the way, we tested with PCs. PC managed to have like 7,000 megabyte and 7,400, I remember. And uh, 6,800 megabit per second read and write. So we reached the speeds uh, with the PCs, but I'm not go uh, going to be probably reaching uh, with the same speed with the PS5, but it's not the matter. So it's a console, you're not going to check out the speeds. What matters is it's going to play the games as the PS5 internal uh, SSD drives, and it's not going to make any problem on the long run. So it's easy procedure, don't worry. You don't have to be a rocket scientist or PC expert. We're going to do it in a couple of minutes. But before we do, you need to do one more thing. Uh, if you're watching this video and if you purchased your PS5 just brand new out of the box, and if you're going to increase the capacity, the one thing that you need to do, go to the system settings and system software update settings. And if you're, you have to con uh, connect to internet, but update using by the internet and check out the firmware. Right now we have the latest firmware. The reason that I'm telling you this is uh, the first time that PS5 announced, it doesn't have this firmware, the new firmware that we got right now. And it doesn't, it didn't have the support of 
external uh, upgrade from the SSD. So the slot was there, but the firmware wasn't supporting the new gen uh, SSDs. So right now we do. If you open up the box of a brand new PS5, just upgrade it and continue with our installation pro process, which is too easy and too fast. So let's get started to install and upgrade this beast of a device with the hardware it needs to, you know, it deserves. So let's get diving. In this part of the video, before installing, like opening the box of the PS5, we need to install the cooler of the XPG S70. So we take out the sticker area and put it on, just align it with the hole, like the screw hole here, and we are good to go. As you can see, our XPG logo and the cooler is on right now. We got also a slim line of cooler that will probably easy to fit the PS5. So to open the PS5, it's easy. Uh, just opposite side of the optical drive unit around the corner like this and hold it up and pull it towards me like this angle, okay? Just put it up and voila, we are okay. By the way, you can clean it with a cloth. Uh, because it's making static dust inside of it. We already uh, air float and clean this. Still, we can make a little, little bit more. We got only one uh, Phillips screw. That's it. We don't need anything extra, but a small one for PC usage. So once we remove this metal cover, by the way, we have a long screw here and metal plate that covers the SSD slot. And I'm going to put this aside. You don't need to reinstall it, but we will. And here we, here we are seeing the 30, 42, 60, 80, and 110. These are the length of the M2 SSDs. And we're going to take a look at the uh, XPG Gummix S70. It is 80 level of uh, length. So we're going to install this socket here. It's easy. Let me just show you how. First, we're going to unscrew it. Since it has many options, you need to set it up yourself. It's easy. You take the screw and you got a metal, just find up. You got a metal unit like this. This is a hole. This is a spacer for this screw. So basically what this does is just taking the screw and create a space for it like this. That's it. So what I'm going to do is let me just uh, again arrange it put it with my hand and push it. That's it. Right now we're fixed. And what I'm about to do is just put the XPG, as you can see to the slot and pushed it. And that's it. The only thing that left for me to screw it in with the spacer that I've just adjusted and we're good to go. So what we are going to do is close the box. Actually, what just, you know, for me, I would have like to see some sort of a custom airflow, but probably there is no custom airflow, no tunnels, nothing. And by closing it with this metal unit just makes it even worse. But you could, you know, skip this part and not install it if you like. Uh, some sort of an airflow could help maybe cooling of the SSDs. And if you want to test the, uh, you know, heat level of your SSD drive, but probably it's okay since the Sony probably made the tests. And what we are going to do, just put it just a little bit below uh, when you think about the optical unit from this side. And as you can see, I'm pushing this way up. And when you click, uh, hear the click sound and you're good to go and we're going to install it. And after the installation, the steps are extremely easy. You hit the button from the PS5 controller, it starts to open and then it will automatically test the M2 new SSD just we installed and it will see it formatted. Let's just see how it works. It's going to be fast. And when you see it, you, you need to format it. When you format your M2 SSD, all the data will be deleted. So if you're thinking, hey, I got a PC M2 and I'm going to use it with PS5 and PC or Mac with the combination. No, you're not. It's going to format it for use of games. So it will be formatting it and all the data will be lost. So if you're not installing a brand new SSD, M2 SSD like us, there's no danger in that. But if you're putting some 
you know, old M2s that you already have with the data in it. So beware in this stage before formatting. But we are going to format and continue format the M2 SSD. By the way, right now I've installed one terabyte of version. Uh, I've made a similar video for two terabyte setup uh, in some other channels. So in this video, you're going to see the rest of it, like one terabyte. But don't worry, the two terabyte works the same. So it's the same. As you can see, the read uh, speeds, we got uh, 6,331, which is far more than enough uh, for PS5. But by the way, we have reached the same speed levels that write it on the box, like 7,400 and 6,800 kind of things on the PC synthetic tests. tests so uh, definitely uh, PlayStation 5 may, might not be able to reach your full speed of your SSD drive. Don't forget about this. And we hit the OK. M2 SSD has been formatted to change where your games are installed to go to the settings storage installation location. So we can change the location to the M2 and continue. We're going to take a look at that in a second. So as you can see, PlayStation 5 starts and how easy it is, right? This procedure is quite a bit of easy. When we go to the settings and storage, here we have 667, as we know from the start, and the M2 SSD storage, we got 1.03, which means we have no loss at all. What you installed, the same thing applies for two terabyte two in my other channel video. So you can have the total capacity from your new installed extend, kind of like an extended storage M2 SSD drive. So uh, you can install a lot of games. If you are able to move your games, just move your games to the new storage to create space here. One thing you need to remember, I, I, if I remember co correctly, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, probably the screen captures, the videos that you capture from your PS5, if you're going to share it like online uh, and gaming channels and YouTube channels and whatnot. And if you're capturing stuff, you're sharing stuff, those things are happening with the internal storage. And if you're capturing a lot of video with your PS5 for social media, just uh, remove some of the stuff from your internal to the M2 SSD storage because the captures won't be uh, go, going to the M2 SSD storage. Keep that in mind if you're capturing a lot of videos. And that's an important stuff to not to, you know, go down below 10% storage from your internal. And we are finished basically. So you're ready to go, you're ready to install new games. I believe this will help you in the long run. And for me, basically, uh, I don't play games with too much of a, uh, other than some house guests when they come to the house. So for me, before the upgrade of a second gamepad, I would go for, you know, an SSD upgrade with the PS5. Because most of the time, if you're playing solo, like online games, a Call of Duty, and open world games like a big storage consuming games you need that uh, you need this sort of upgrade uh, before buying a second gamepad and i would go for that direction for my personal uh, setup but if you're playing like fifa and most of the time with your family members then you might skip that part first buying the gamepad and then upgrade it so don't forget i've already told you in the video before the installation, you need to upgrade your firmware because it uh, came a little later than the product launch of the PS5, the support of the uh, M2 SSDs. And also don't go too cheap uh, because uh, below the 5000 read and write speeds, PlayStation 5 just only can play PlayStation 4 games uh, with your slow new M2 if you go cheap direction. So you need to find the right speed. The XPG Gamix S70 Blade is kind of like the right speed. It has 7,400 megabit per seconds and 6,800 megabit per seconds read and writes. So I hope this video helped. You saw how easy it was. We only needed the one Phillips screwdriver and that's it. Just a couple of minutes. I believe it took about two or three minutes in total maybe video is a little longer but hope to see you in the next video your thumbs up likes subscribe and support and comments are important let me know if you have any news like this setup changes or upgrade changes or any kind of changes in the ps5 you can inform people by writing a comment 
uh, section below. I hope to see you in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. Bye.